evening. Yeah. Just about. It's your boy Frank, it's your girl Sarah, What's and we're up, guys? here. <laughs> and we're here in Georgetown for a Georgetown at night. Even though it's not mm. quite night yet, but don't worry, it will be night during this video, so don't um, don't comment just yet. <laughs> yeah, we've just spent the last 10 minutes uh, petting our favorite little kitten. He's so um, cute. But yeah, we're gonna head up. Uh, we're actually staying right near the the nightlife area. What's the name of the street? Um. Apparently the nightlife area is all around the Little India. So it's just around the corner from where we are. You've got all the street food, you've got all the restaurants, and you've got all the bars. Chulia um, Street. Chulia Street. Yeah. But yeah, we're going to walk through. Um, it looks beautiful during the day, and it looks beautiful at night. They have a lot of um, a lot of lights set up, uh, fairy lights, hanging uh, light bulbs and whatnot, mm. and a lot of uh, neon signs. So it's quite, once again, a bit of a visual feast. Yeah, we love the nightlife videos. Like. It just most of these places in Southeast Asia they just come alive at night time completely so it's always exciting for us to show you guys what it's like during the day and then come out again at night time and show you more yeah yeah makes a lot of sense in Asia you know it's hot during the day mm. uh, cools down at night so I completely understand it but uh, yeah we're gonna walk through we'll grab some food mm. We'll grab a beer and apparently there's a lot of Guinness around here I've seen a lot of signs for Guinness yeah so um, <laughs> And it's also the first time we're using the Action 4 at night, so we're going to test the low light capabilities of this beautiful camera that has just been absolutely top notch mm. since we've gotten it. And it's going to be dark probably in about an hour, mm. so we're going to see dusk and then we're going to see when it's at night. So yeah, yeah. let's head on down and... Um, let's go grab a beer. Let's oh. <laughs> The uh, hotel Ho Hong Ping, sorry, heard a lot of great things about that place. Mm -hmm. I don't even know <laughs> what it is. <laughs> so that one down there, that road, we've um, walked this road a couple of times, and it looks like that's pretty, pretty good place to grab some street food. So I think the first night we were here, we uh, grabbed some street food. It was a burger, and it was very weird. It, um, I got a double burger double beef burger with cheese and it had um, chili sauce on it and some other weird stuff so I was like but yeah it was it was okay I was just hungry so I didn't really give a shit so they got rats here too pipe city but to be honest Thailand does as well so it's kind of expected but that's a pretty big rat hopefully the um, the camera picked it up and showed just how big she was. Now I'm hoping that um, that song is so old that I'm not going to get done for copyright, but regardless, we'll see how we go. First stop is the Red Monkey, which is pretty sick. Yeah, um, it's a bit divey, but it's like, it's cool. Yeah, this is down a little side street. Um, the other one, the main street, is quite busy, quite loud, so not the best for relaxing. But yeah, it's pretty cool. The first one's in here. Luckily, yeah. it's open. Uh, 10, 20 ringgit a beer, so that's about seven, just under seven Australian dollars a beer. So it's definitely not the cheapest here, but. Um, you know, we're, we're used to Thai prices, so we've been spoiled for a while. Yeah. So we've got to kind of snap back to reality. Oh, there Definitely. goes gravity. Mum's spaghetti. But um, yeah, we'll sit here for a little bit, um, hang out, and then it should be dark, and we can really showcase the um, the nightlife area. Yeah, we'll go get some night. street food. Yeah, yeah, we'll give it a go. Thai, you probably know, 
Malaysian, you probably know, <laughs> that's Durian. And one funny thing is we're staying in a place in Butterworth, which is just across the ocean, technically. It's on the mainland of Penang, and the Airbnb we're staying in for one night, they only had one rule, and that was no Durian. So yeah, nobody likes Durian. <laughs> Dark meat. Dark meat. How are you? Good, how are you? I think you want to try like a fish or vegetarian. You want to try like soup, veggie. Are you a YouTuber? Yes. Yeah. Uh, what's, your, what's your name? I'm sorry. Oh, Fran and Sarah. We only have 1k subscribers. Cool what's friend. your favorite? Fish. Fish? Noodles. 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 Yeah, he's so nice, so... I don't know, maybe he's just trying to get us to come into the restaurant, but... <laughs> Guarantee it. But regardless, you know, um, we'll see how we go. We'll see what's, uh, what's on offer and, yeah, see if, see if this food's any good, if we can recommend it. I'm sure we will. Prices, yeah, seem all right. Sit-down meals here, um, if you come from Thailand, they're going to be pretty expensive in comparison. Um, so I'll just give you an example, like well, fried rice for a small fried rice, eight, eight um, Malaysian ringgit. That's only it's like two dollars. I don't know, like under three dollars for a fried rice. That's pretty pretty good. Okay, just a little, little uh, quick update. I got that completely wrong. I was for some reason they had an eight, and then in front of the. Um, front of the RM and then the actual price was next to it. So it was like 16 ringgit for a um, like a fried rice with crab, chicken or whatever. So 16 ringgit is probably about six bucks, six Australian. So it's not too crazy for one meal, but it is definitely more expensive in Thailand. But um, that's just what you gotta deal with, you know, different countries, different prices and uh, different people. So yeah, we'll see how it goes, see if it's any any good and um, nah, I'm all good, thank you. I don't want to eat them. Though. How much? 30. Three. Three? Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, not bad. Yeah. Oh. 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 <laughs> yeah so three ringgit. Three of three ringgit. Yeah. I'm still learning the money. Always handy to have tissues or some kind of like wet wipe or whatever in Southeast Asia because there's not always toilet paper. So. I mean, I'm gonna use these, it's gonna come in handy, so not a big deal. So that was a great reasoning and justification for spending three ringgit on tissues by Sarah, well done. One dollar. You'd be a good salesman. It's pretty mental that there's like all this street food right next to us, and they're just coming up like trying to sell you like food when you're sitting at a restaurant's table. It reminds me of Grab, it's like you order a, <laughs> You order like a pizza and it's like, hey, while you wait, do you want to order some McDonald's? Like, could be a good shout. And you're like, bro, I've just ordered a whole pizza. I'm not going to order McDonald's as well. It's just so funny. <laughs> I don't really understand it, but um, it is what it is. I don't know. <laughs> so this is what we got. Kung Pao. Chicken. Chicken, yeah. It's steaming hot again. Coming in hot. That tastes good. It's like barbecue. It's like a smoky barbecue sauce. It's really good. Yeah, nice. Mm. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I ordered the same, so when mine comes out. I'll probably eat it. Uh, can we pay now? Yeah. One bottle. One bottle. Yeah, sweet. 42? Sweet. Yeah. Some Makasi, have a good night. Yeah. See you later. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Um, our mistake as well, we got two big bottles which we didn't need, so mm. um, yeah, all good, all good. You enjoyed your food? Yeah, it was really nice. That was, um, yeah, yeah. I think that's the first time I've had Kung Pao chicken and it was, yeah, really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Frank had a try of it as well and it was, um, yeah, he said it was nice. So. Yeah, it was dope, it was dope, like that barbecue. Um, hmm. It was kind of smelling like sweet and sour, but it was really good. Yeah. So that was the Crab Empire. Mm. Um, don't knock it till you try it. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I, I tried to give Old Man a tip and uh, he wouldn't accept it because he was obviously um, upset or mm. disappointed that I didn't get my food, but you know, whatever, he came and checked at the end. Yeah. Um, but he was doing his own thing and he was like, oh, you didn't get your food? And I'm like, no, 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 don't worry about it, man. She's already finished, so mm-hmm. it's too late. I want to sit around and play with myself. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah, all good, you know, shit happens. Don't worry. Yeah, don't it's worry. not really a problem for us, like, whatever. Yeah, Here's yeah, pretty loose, yeah. pretty loosey-goosey. So we mm-hmm. just head off, um, yep. head back down, hit the family mart, and um, yep. that'll pre- pretty much be it. Because we've. So. Yeah, definitely had um, too much beer. <laughs> I've had like three beers, and that's haven't had beer in a, you know, haven't had more than one beer in a, a little bit. So yeah, yeah, it's um, it's too much for me. I'm yeah. a bit of a lightweight. I'm a lot of a lightweight. <laughs> me too. Yeah, so <laughs> three beers is plenty. That's it. Yeah. But yeah, we'll head off and um, yeah, yeah, go from there. I'm in our mill house, aren't I? Lucky I put my flood pants on. <laughs> Pizza. Pizza bread. Yep. Hey, Sarah, how you going? Good. <laughs> Broken ankle. <laughs> Alrighty, so we are on the street, Victoria Street, that leads to our hotel, the Georgetown Inn by Skyhive. Self Just check so in. You know, <laughs> self check in, self check out as well. Mm. Um, self clean. Um, everything yourself, I guess. Self shower too, rough. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, we've uh, we've had a good night. Yeah. Despite the um, the lack of food, my end. No, nah, it's it's been fine. Um, it's not a particularly large, large area. Um, there is, there is quite a few, quite a few restaurants and I guess bars as well down um, that little India place. You'll see the um, the crescent moons and the, the stars as well um, lit up. But yeah, it's it's been pretty good. Yeah. Um, met some great people as well. So definitely renewing our faith in um, in Malaysia and the people, which is great. Um, got off to a rocky start but yeah we're really warming to the place warming to the people and um, you know once we learn what the what the culture is and what's kind of expected and what's not then dropped our expectations and um, carried on as we are now and we're having a great time so hope you've enjoyed it as well checking it out with us um, thanks for coming along and yeah like and subscribe if you've enjoyed even if you haven't do it as well thanks again for watching and yeah. we'll see you in the next one wherever that may be don't know yet bye, bye.